Hello, in this lecture, we're going to define the term of unadjusted trial balance. According to Fundamental Accounting Principles, Wild 22nd Edition, the definition of an unadjusted trial balance is list of accounts and balances prepared before accounting adjustments are recorded and posted. So we have a list of accounts and their balances. That's what a trial balance is. The thing that makes the unadjusted trial balance different than other types of trial balance is that this is going to be the trial balance before we have done the adjusting entry process. Therefore, if we take a look at an example of a trial balance, here we have a trial balance here. When we talk about a trial balance, it might be referred to as just a trial balance in just a generic term with a, with a date on it. It might be termed as an unadjusted trial balance. That's going to be the trial balance all the way through the accounting process. When we're journalizing the transactions, we have posting it basically to the unadjusted trial balance indicating that it has not been completed in order to uh, make the financial statements from it. At the end of the accounting period, we often put together a worksheet, which we have the unadjusted trial balance, and then we'll put the adjustments in there. Those are going to be those timing differences in order to create the adjusted trial balance. This is one way to indicate that we have now completed everything in terms of the trial balance. Everything is in there, and the trial balance has been adjusted to make sure it's in accordance with the accrual process by implementing those adjusting entries. And therefore, it is now ready to make the financial statements from the adjusted trial balance. You may then hear the, the term of a post-closing trial balance, which would be the trial balance after we have closed the process, in which time we have closed out all the income statement accounts, the revenue expense accounts, as well as the draws account, to the balance sheet in terms of the uh, owner capital in this case. So they're all going to be basically trial balances it's a way to indicate where we are at in the process of the accounting cycle when we term something as an unadjusted trial balance or an adjusted trial balance or a post-closing trial balance.